Tesla's Model Y has been a hot-selling vehicle since its launch. The demand for the Model Y is so high in the US that if you order a Model Y now, you won't get it until Q3 2022. To overcome this issue, we think Tesla has an amazing plan. In China, Tesla recently started selling a standard range, rear-wheel drive Model Y, equipped with a lithium-iron phosphate battery pack. With Tesla transitioning to lithium-iron phosphate batteries for their standard range vehicles globally, this makes a huge possibility that the standard range Model Y could soon be available in North America. Let's get into all the details why we think this is a definite possibility. So let's get started. In January this year, Tesla made a standard range Model Y available in North America, and then in late February, they quickly discontinued it. The Tesla Model Y standard range had 244 miles of EPA estimated range and a base price before the delivery fee of just under $42,000. In February, shortly before the Model Y standard range version was discontinued, Tesla lowered the price before delivery fee to just under $40,000. However, just a few days after this price reduction, Tesla discontinued the Model Y from the order configurator page. When Elon Musk was asked on Twitter why the standard range Model Y was discontinued, he responded with the following. It is still available off menu, but I don't think the range and many drive conditions yet meets the Tesla standard of excellence. That tweet from Elon Musk obviously makes it clear why Tesla discontinued the standard range Model Y. It all comes down to range and various driving conditions. So if a low amount of range was a reason why Tesla discontinued the standard range Model Y, then Tesla could offer a larger battery pack, a larger lithium iron phosphate battery pack, like they currently do in China. This would give the vehicle more than 244 miles of range and yet keep the price low because lithium ion phosphate battery packs cost less per kilowatt hour compared to the nickel cobalt aluminum battery packs. This could pave the way for the Tesla Model Y, Standard Range, or, as we want to call it, Standard Range Plus, to come back in North America. Now as we know, Tesla definitely does not have a demand problem for their vehicles. For instance, right now if you order a Tesla Model Y, Long Range variant, you have to wait around six months to get your vehicle delivered in North America. Because of this high demand, they don't need to offer a standard range plus Model Y. However, we think they still will offer a standard range plus Model Y in the coming near future because Elon Musk's goal is to make Tesla vehicles as affordable as possible while keeping the quality and the range high. Here's what Elon Musk said about this at Tesla's Q2 2020 investors call. We will not succeed in our mission if we do not make cars affordable. Like the thing that bugs me the most about where we are right now is that our cars are not affordable enough. Tesla also mentioned the following in its Q3 2021 investors call. For standard range vehicles, we are shifting to lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry globally. Currently in North America, the only standard range vehicle that Tesla sells is a standard range plus Model 3 which as Tesla mentioned, should be transitioning to a lithium iron phosphate battery pack in the near future. However, we expect this new version in North America that will have a larger battery than what Tesla offered earlier this year when they made a few standard range plus Model 3s equipped with lithium iron phosphate batteries available in North America. That vehicle had EPA estimated range of around 253 miles, however, according to a recent report, Tesla is increasing the size of the standard range plus battery pack for the made in China Model 3. In this report, they mentioned that previously they saw some source code that indicated a 60 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack could be coming soon to the Tesla Model 3. They also cited a recent customer in Germany who received their registration papers that confirmed this change. In the report, they showed a photo of some relevant information from the registration papers of that German customer. 
What's really significant is that the WLTP range for this version is higher than the previous version, compared to what was displayed earlier and currently displayed on Tesla's website. Now let's see how these range estimates compare to the previous lithium iron phosphate battery pack that Tesla was offering in the Made in China Standard Range Plus Model 3. According to data from this report, and also according to data from evdatabase.org, the previous lithium iron phosphate battery pack size had a total capacity of 55 kilowatt hours and a usable capacity of 52.5 kilowatt hours. Now, we estimate that if the new lithium iron phosphate battery pack has a total capacity of 60 kilowatt hours, it should have a usable battery capacity somewhere around 57 kilowatt hours. You can see here that this new larger battery pack does increase the WLTP range estimates for the Tesla Model 3 quite a bit. Interestingly enough, the efficiency between these two vehicles, despite the added weight, appears to be somewhat similar. Also, it's important to note that although Tesla is just now starting to use this larger, 60 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery pack in the Tesla Model 3 standard range plus that are made in China, Tesla is already using the 60 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack in the made in China standard range model Y that are sold locally. Right now, if you go to the Tesla China website, you can see that they're offering a model Y with the standard range battery pack. Now, if you convert that Chinese price to US dollars, you can see that with the included subsidy, that equates to just over $43,000, and without the government subsidy, this amounts to over $45,000 US dollars. So if Tesla does offer this standard range Model Y, or, as we call it, standard range plus Model Y, with a 60 kilowatt hours lithium iron phosphate battery pack in North America, it's very possible that the price could be somewhere around the $45,000 to $46,000 price range. We also think that the EPA estimated range could be somewhere around 260 miles or more. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Tesla doesn't really need to bring out this new version for the North American market because demand is really strong right now. However, Elon Musk is working to make Tesla vehicles more affordable, and this is one of the ways that we think he can do it. It's also important to note that Tesla is about to open up two new gigafactories, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, which will double the production capacity that they have right now. We also think it's very possible that they could start producing the standard range plus Model Y at the existing lines at Fremont and shift the long range in the performance variants with the structural battery pack and 4680 batteries to their new factories, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. When these new factories come online and are producing vehicles at a good rate, this will give Tesla the opportunity to introduce a standard range, or as we say, a standard range plus Model Y, once again in the North American market, as Elon Musk stated, this is his goal, to make Tesla more affordable. We also need to keep in mind that the current chip shortage could hamper these plans and delay this a little bit, but we personally believe that we will eventually see a standard range plus Model Y with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack coming to the North American market soon. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.